What's going on guys? Welcome to Faith Based Apologetics, the channel that levels up your faith by using apologetics. But I don't just do apologetics, I show you guys how to do apologetics so you can go forth and spread the gospel any way that you guys decide to do that. Today I would like to talk about something called world views. What is a world view you may ask? A world view is kind of like sunglasses. Sunglasses that tint the world around you. So as you look through a pair of sunglasses, let's say they're rose colored or any kind of color you would like. And as you look through those sunglasses, the world has a certain tint to it. So is what I mean by that is as if you have a specific worldview, like let's say a biblical worldview, then as you look through those lenses, you're going to see things from a biblical perspective. If you don't have a biblical worldview, let's say you're an atheist and you have an atheistic worldview, then you're going to look at everything through the lens of, like say, evolution. Now, why is this important? This is important because of one very simple fact. There's a rule to having worldviews. And the rule is that worldviews cannot cross paths. You cannot mix and match. You cannot take some from here and take some from there and combine them and make whatever you would like. They also have to be coherent on their own. In other words, is what I mean by coherent, they have to stand underneath their own weight. So is what I mean by you can't mix and match worldviews. If you believe that there is no God and people have no intrinsic value, like for example, if you believe in evolution and we all came from pond water, basically only the strong survived, then that means that people don't have a specific value. That means that the genes that got passed down from that person's ancestors were obviously the strongest genes. So you can't say that people have value because you're borrowing from the Christian worldview. And the reason why I say that you can't just take some from here and take some from there and basically build your own worldview is it's just not going to stand. A person cannot have value and yet be valueless at the same time. From the theory of evolution, only the strong survive. You can't say this person has intrinsic value or is made in the image of God because they obviously, in your worldview, they don't. Because only their genes were passed down and they were the lucky ones, basically. I have a Christian worldview. Me having a Christian worldview, I cannot agree with pro-choice movements. Here's why. Genesis 126, God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. So according to the Christian worldview, I say that humans have value, right? So if humans have intrinsic value that's given by God because we are made in the image of God, so therefore we are image bearers of God. So I'm going to try to show you guys some like deductive reasoning, basically. This is a form of logic. This is how you come up, present an argument. So we have something first called a premise, right? Premise is kind of facts or reasonings for your argument. So premise one, people have value that is given by God, citing Genesis 126. Premise two, a unborn child has the same value as any other person which is also made in the image of God. Premise three, it is wrong to commit murder, Exodus 20, 13. So based off of something called premises, which are facts, we must conclude the conclusion is the outcome of these premises. So the conclusion is abortion is wrong. So according to a Christian worldview or a biblical worldview, however you want to say it, According to those premises that I just listed, the three premises, that is a, it is wrong for me to support, right, to support any kind of pro-choice movement. But if you found value in this, I like to ask you to hit the like button and also subscribe. And for more content like this in the future,